they're off. Five runners, four of them previous winners, taking each other on in this good luck to all Irish runners at Cheltenham Pro and Flat Race as they begin the run uphill. And it's the one horse in the race that hasn't won a race previously. That's about right. Who leads, who takes them along? Leads by a couple of lengths in the early stages over Lucky Lyrene racing in second. Two lengths then to the third running Special Caddo, taking a keen tug on the inside of stable companion Largy Hill and the back mark of the five as they make the downhill run. Just moving up on the inside, Chukter's Glory, but uh, not a lot to choose between the quintets as they set a pretty steady gallop on the run downhill towards the entrance to the straight and about five to six lengths between the five runners. The leader is That's About Right and Fidel Melvin leading by about a length or so to Lucky Lyrene and Jamie Codd in second. Special Caddo and Jody Townend in the grey jacket, one from the outside and keen to get on with things Lucky is a Special Caddo. Largy Hill is on that one's outer and Chukter's Glory is also taking a keen tug towards the inside rail as they head up the straight towards the furlong point to bring them up past the stands for the first time. And the, taking them along at a steady gallop is that's about right. Chukter's Glory has moved through on the inside to possibly just show second ahead of Lucky Lyrene third. And the two Mullins, the two close Sutton runners, Special Caddo and, and Largy Hill, four and five. So past the winning post they go and towards the nine furlong point shorter to begin the right-handed swing to bring them to the entrance to the back straight. And little enough change in the order, as that's about right. Continues to take them along. Lucky Lyrene, Chukter's Glory on the inside rail, followed by the green jacket of Largy Hill on the outside of Special Caddo. So past the halfway point and the lead, not much, no, no change in the order still. With that's about right, and Fidel Melvin taking them along by a length. Lucky Lyrene and Jamie Codd showing disputing second on the outside of Chukter's Glory and Liam Burke. That one looks as though it's going to pull its way to the front in uh, the next number of strides. Special Caddo and Largy Hill continue to look on from the back of the field. But as they continue the climb past the six furlong point, Chukter's Hill on the inside, possibly just now with the overall advantage over that's about right. Lucky Lyrie in a close third, two lengths then to Special Caddo on the inside of Largy Hill. Continuing to run up towards the top of the hill and it's Chukter's Glory now with the lead of three parts of length to a length as Lucky Lyrene just nudged up on the outside by Jamie Codd to take closer order. Between the two is that's about right, just gets a flick of just gets a flick of the stick. And there are a couple of lengths in front of Special Caddo and Largy Hill, who both look on from rear and uh, just both being pushed along now to try to stay in touch with the three leaders. On the downhill run towards the straight, inside the final half mile, and Lucky Lyrene has moved up on the outside now to take over from Chukter's Glory in second. They've gone on by three lengths over Largy Hill now tries to move into third on the outside of Spave Companion's Special Caddo and on the inside that's about right but heading into the straight and it's Chukter's Glory on the far side with Lucky Lyrene upsides not a lot to choose between the two they've gone on by about four to five lengths over staying on in third now Largy Hill ahead of that's about right and Special Caddo but it's Liam Burke on Chukter's Glory who he trains himself and certainly the oldest amateur around and has gone to the front and has gone three to four lengths clear. Racing inside the final furlong, it's Chukter's Glory is out in front. Lucky Lyrene in second, back to, back to Largy Hill in third. Special Caddo and that's about right. But racing inside the final 150 yards, it's Chukter's Glory is out in front and is going to win this for, for trainer rider Liam Burke. Chukter's Glory by about three lengths in the end from his second place, Lucky Lyrene. Back in third, Largy Hill for Special Caddo. Fifth and last, that's about right. Well, I think we've waited for the last race of the afternoon at Limerick this Sunday afternoon for the best story. 66 years of age, Liam Burke has ridden his first winner in over 34 years in his own horse, Tutor's Glory, to win the finale, the winner's bumper. Well done, many congratulations. What did it feel like going by that line? It felt good. The last 100 yards was longer. I was hoping someone wouldn't come to me, but, you know, you're trying to get the winning ball back to you. But he's still travelling for me. So. And you turned 66 on your Monday of last week? Last Monday, yeah. Oh, I mean, OAP now. You took out your licence, what, uh, a year and a half ago? A year and a half ago, yeah. yeah. I, you know, I had a lot of trouble with all the knees, two knees replaced, and I was too heavy, but I lost the weight. 
not quite fine, it just came off. And uh, I went to hang each other around on the platform for low meter away the house, number one, which is important too. I uh, hope they enjoyed it. And what made you take out the licence again? Because you hadn't ridden, am I right, saying 34, 35 years? No, I hadn't. I rode a couple of charity races, all right. I just wanted to get that buzz again, get that winning feeling if I could. <laughs> I struggled in love, but at least we got one. And obviously this is quite a smart horse. He showed plenty of promise when he looked like a potentially a good horse when he won his bumper first time out. That was what, back in Galway nearly two and a half years ago. He's obviously had his issues along the way, hasn't he? Yeah, he's had a lot of injuries. He's had back trouble, shoulder trouble. He fractured a cannonball and he's had two screws put in. And he's had a lot of injuries. But at least he's, he's more mature now. He's probably able to take it better. Like he ran well in the ace the last day. He just was a bit keen. He just didn't get home up the slight in the ace. So I didn't, I could have gone for another maiden hurdle, and I said, I'm not sure about him jumping fences. So I said, I'd keep an obvious next year, and a chance this was. So, no doubt, Grant. And he was good and keen at you all the way around as well. He's obviously a smart horse, because you're the pin of your collar to hold him. Then he, but he, I love the way he's kept lengthening all the way to the line. He did, yeah. He just got rolling me up the back, but I got him back before the end of the back straight again. But still, he kept picking up for me, and I'd be able to give him a chance. But he was in good order for that. And how many winners did you ride when you were riding? And who, who did you start off with? I rode 17 on the track. I lost my seven-pound claim and I lost my five-pound claim. When I got it all back again, I'm back to seven now and I'll die with that. Uh, <laughs> but he, I rode 38 pound of pound winners as well. And I rode for Tom Bergen first. I gave two years there. And I gave two years of Fancy O'Brien. And I gave four years of Mouse Mars. After that, and there's a couple of other places in between. And then you decided to start up training on your own. You plen you've trained plenty of smart horses down through the years. I got actually got broke up badly on the road, and that's how I started training with two horses. I, doctor said we'd never ride again, but I rode a winner three and a half months later. But uh, it still never gave me any trouble, just broke my wrist, but it was bad at the time. But uh, yeah, I, I had a good few horses down, down the line, but not as many nowadays. Um, but not just circumstances more than anything, but I'm getting too old for too many of my right to can be hands on myself <laughs> that's the way it is good stuff now you you you're back took out the license to ride another winner you've ridden the winner is that it or are you going to keep going and ride a couple more of your own i might ride a couple more i've never also let me enjoy it well i still have the weight i might do it i might stop i don't know <laughs> <laughs> depends on you maybe and sean flanagan said i had to tell you that when you rode your last winner it was the year he was born in 1988 he said make sure and tell liam burke that Oh my God, pretty long ways to go, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, Liam, when you took out your licence, your son Johnny, of course, who's having another hugely successful uh, season across the water in, in England, what did he say to you when you rang him and told him, I'm taking out my licence again? Yeah, I thought it was nuts. But sure, you well, we all know that, don't we? Well, you have to be to do this job, don't you? At times, like, it's not easy. But so it's, it's the buzz that gets us going, isn't it? Um, but he's doing well. He's, he's a couple of nice ways in Cheltenham, so... Once he says injury free, it's just the main thing. Great stuff. Are you going over? I hope to go tomorrow, yeah. For a couple of days, anyway. Great stuff. A little bit of a celebration tonight? Mm, not really a pub, man, but <laughs> I might go and watch the final point later on. <laughs> well, great stuff. I'll leave a great story. Many congratulations. 66, sunny on Monday, and you ride uh, a winner after, what, a 34, 35 year break? 34 years, yeah. Uh, it great. Nice feeling. Well, well done and enjoy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.